All right, go ahead, Ms. Clark. Um, share your answer with us now so that we can see how to work out this one. Go ahead. All right, sir, I got my answer as 11.6%, 11, 11 sir. All right, so could you walk us through your calculation? Okay, sir. Um, first, I put um, 580 over 100. Uh -huh. And then I multiply that by 2 over 1. Five, After I do that, 500. Uh, 580. Yes, sir. Over 100. Yes, sir. And then you multiply by? 2. Two. Over 1. Over 1. All right. Now, how did you come back this, this calculation? What was your reasoning behind this? Um, sir, it says express 580 as a percentage of 2 kg. So I put, oh shoot. <laughs> so I'm just a mistake. <laughs> it says I, so this is gram and kilogram. Sorry, sir. Something wrong with the answer, right? Yes, sir. All right. I'm glad you read that. Now, just let me make a comment, students. If you're asked to express one quantity as, an, as a percentage of another quantity, it means that the quantity that you're asked to express as a percentage of another quantity has to be a fraction of the other quantity. And then you express that as a percent. So if it is a fraction of the other quantity and you're expressing it as a percent, then you have to express that fraction times 100. Is that clear, Ms. Clark? Yes. All right. Anybody else want to share their answer with me? Ms. Leng, do you, would you like to explain your answer? Are you there, Ms. Leng? Are you here? Yes, sir. All right. So um, give me what you have for your answer. I got 29%. All right. All right. Give me, give me the workings. So 580 over 2,000. So, and I got 2,000 because uh, I converted the kilogram to gram. Don't give me an explanation yet. Just give me what you have. And so 580 over 2,000 times 100. Over 2,000 times 100. Yeah. All right, and, and we generally Put the percentage symbol just to remind you that the answer will be in percentage. All right, so go ahead now, Miss Peng, and explain to us what you did and why you did. Why? You did. Okay, sir. So um, I converted the two kilograms to grams, which would be two thousand, and right. then I canceled so, out. Hold on a second. So you converted the two kilogram. So, two grams. Now that you did that, but tell me why you did that. Because it, it was the only way to do the cancel, you know. I could add two into the could I do two into the five eighty. No, you did something, you must be able to tell me why you did it. So that's the way I know how to do it. Okay. So you don't know why you did it. Not really. Not really. All right. So, so Miss Waysom, you want to add something? Go ahead. To get the same unit for both figures, sir. All right. Uh, did, you, did you get that, Miss Yes, sir. 
Now, so let me explain a little bit about why you did what you did. You have two values. One is in grams and the other one is kilograms. Now, kilograms and grams are family, but one is a multiple of the other, right? So the kilogram is a multiple of the gram. In order to get kilograms, you would have to time grams by a thousand, right? So if you have two kilograms, it would be a multiple of the your calculation, you have to be working with the same multiples in the gram. So you could either convert the, the 580 grams to kilogram and then work both of them with kilograms, or you could convert the two kilograms to grams and work both of them in grams. So when you're doing any calculation at all, where the values are of slightly different units, you first need to make them having the same unit. In this case, you want to convert kilograms to grams. And so that's why you did that, Miss um, Ling. Is that clear now? Yes, sir. All right, so now you want to do the calculation now. So do the calculation and tell me what you got. So you cancel what with what? I canceled the 100 into the 2000. All right. Which is 20. All right. So one of, the, one, of the, one, of the, one of the easiest thing when you're canceling students is to look for zeros above and cancel with zeros below. So you have two zeros on this side. You can cancel all two of these zeros with these two zeros. And then you can cancel this zero with this zero. All right, so the zeros cancel out. And now you have 58 over two, which is the same as 58 divided by two. And so you get 29. And remember we have the percentage symbol here. So it becomes 29%. All right, everybody is good with that. Let me see the hands if you are clear on that. All right. All right. So I think Miss Cummings, are we getting a hang of what the percentage thing is all about yet? Yes, sir, I'm coming along. All right, Miss Waysom, your hand is still raised. Do you want to say something? All right. No, sir. So here would have been the work the, the calculation similar to what Miss Um Leng would have done. Now we're now, we're looking at this other question now. So go ahead and calculate this one for me. And then at the end, you, you tell me what your answer is by raising your hand. All right, so you get another minute or two to this, do this one as well. All
All right, so I, I'm seeing some hands being raised. That means persons have answers. I've seen where Mr. Giovanni had posted his answer in the chat. And so I'm going to start off with Mr. Giovanni in terms of his answer and ask him to explain how he comes by his answer. Mr. Giovanni, are you there? Yes, sir. All right. All right, so you can go ahead and tell us what is your... All right. First, give me your your um, your set out your your calculation. What you just tell me what to write. Um, twenty over hundred. Twenty over hundred. Yeah. Times 400 over one. Times 400 over one. All right, go ahead. All right, and then we cancel out the zeros. The zeros. Yes. And then, and then you said 20 times four. 20 times 4. Right. And you get one. 80. The answer is 80. Oh. All right. All right. So that's your, that's your answer, Mr. Joe. Now, you want to give me a unit for the 80? 80 what? 80%. All right. So you say 80%. All right, so you're going to stick up in with your answer now. I'm going next to Miss, Miss, well, Miss Clark has her hands up. So I'm just going to first ask Miss Cummings if she had actually done any calculation. Miss Cummings? Yes, sir. Do you have a I got this. I got this answer as well, sir. All right. Miss Clark? Do you want to walk me through what you get? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead, Ms. Clark. I'm, I'm going to just take your work in now. So what, what, tell me what to write. All right, sir, um, 400 over one. 400 over one. And 20 over 100. And 20 over 100. Mm -hmm. So now you can cancel out the zeros with um, zeros for the 100 and the 400. What you get? 4 times 20 is 80. What's a unit? Um, Sam. You're not sure? Not finished yet, sir. Oh, you're not finished yet? No, sir. So that's so the answer? I, huh? That's the answer or no? No, sir. I'm going to continue. So because it says increase um, $400 by 3%. Finish, finish your question. Time you make sure your question is finished. All right. All right. So um, you can lower your hand, Miss Clark. Is there anybody else who would like to give their calculation? No, sir. What I mean, I finished the entire thing. I was just gonna continue. And oh, you still? Oh, you still can't. All right. Continue then. Continue then. All right, so it says because it says increase um four hundred dollars by twenty percent, sir. Now right. you're going to add um the four hundred plus the eighty. So you're adding wait, it wouldn't be adding there. So you'd say four hundred plus, yes. plus, plus the eighty. So, 
and you will get four hundred and eighty dollars, sir. Four hundred and eighty dollars. Yes. Sir. All right. Anybody else have an answer? Raise your hand. Same as Miss Clark, sir. All right, same as Miss Clark. Anybody else? All right, so let me just. Uh, sir, we're on. Miss Green, what's your answer? Sir, we only do the the, um, the 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 first part that you said, sir, with the the canceling. Right. And I got the eighty, sir, but I didn't put a unit. So I'm confused about the last part, sir. Is it right. because it said increase by? Right. All right. So let me walk you through what is happening here and see if you get a clearer picture of what's supposed to do. All right. So. When we, when we are increasing by some, um, some amount of percentage, it is important that we know that if you're increasing something by some amount of percentage, you really want to find that percentage and then add it to what you have. Like for instance, if you consider say, your pay is $6,000 and you want, and your pay is to be increased by 20%. It means that you would have the $6,000 plus 20% increase. So, so the, 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 in, the, 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 the overall total, so the total that you will have would be equal to your amount that you have, which is the $400 plus the increase. On the writing, guys. So your 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 total should be the money plus the increase. Now the increase is twenty percent. So you should have your four hundred dollars plus the increase, which is 20%. And in this case, we could just go ahead and write 20% as 20 over 100 of the $4, $400. All right, so, so this is what you're really doing. You're finding 20% of the money and then you add back that to the money. All right, so here then, we could do our calculation for the 20% by canceling out. So we have 100, cancel with 400, the $4. So 20 times four will give you what? $80. All and so you will have $480, all right? Now this question can, can be approached in a number of ways. And in some sense, you could even use some shortcut ways to approach it, all right? Now, 
to get to an, a, a shortcut way, because sometimes we may want to just work, work this out quickly in our head. So if we have $400 and we want to find 20% of $400, one of the key things that we can do is to find 10% and then times it by two. Now, 10% of a number is easy to find. All you need to do is to move your point one place to the left. So if you have 480 and you want to find 10% of, sorry, not 480, if you have $400 and you want to find 10% of that, you would move one decimal place to the left. So that would give you what, $40. So 10% is 40 and 20% is two times 40, which is 80. And now you're going to add that 80 to the 400 to get 480. So you could quickly write that out in your head like that. Another approach could be, you could do one calculation in, instead of going through all these steps. Now, since you're increasing by 20%, you would consider what you have already as 100%. So if what you have already is 100% and you're now increasing by 20%, then all you need to do is to find 100 plus 20% 20 of 400. So you need to find 120% of 400. So 120% would be written as 120 over 100. And you're finding it off. So it is times the $400. And now you could cancel some zeros here. If you wish, you can cancel these two zeros with the four. Or if you want, you can cancel one zero here with one zero here, one zero here with one zero here. Then now you would say 12 fours, 48, and then add a zero. So that would actually give you $480. Now, this method is really fewer in steps. It's just one step or uh, two steps in the calculation here. When you follow this one, the first one, you notice that you have to go to a number of steps. So instead of calculating 20% of the number, then adding it back to the number, you could find out the overall percentage with the increased percentage. So the number you have is one already 100%, uh, increasing it by 20%. So you should be calculating 120% of the number. And so if you calculate it in that way, you will do fewer steps, but you will still arrive at the same answer. So those are two different options of doing the same question. And the, yes, there was the one that you can work for 10% and then now times it by two and then add it. All right, is that clear to everyone? Let me see the hands of those who are clear about what I've just done. All right, good. All right, so this was the answer from the previous working. Now, here now is another question. I'm going to give you about three minutes to do this one and then raise your hand and give me your answer, just as before.
All right, guys. Um, I wasn't sure. Somebody had raised their hand. I see. Well, uh, Mr. Giovanni, you you have in the chat. Is this answer the thirty percent? Is that the answer to this question that we're doing, Mr. Gio? Um, yes, sir. Okay. All right. Anybody else have, a, have an answer? All right. Mr. Giovanni, would you like to walk me through um, the steps that you, you use to arrive at the answer? All right. Go ahead. All right. Um, 50 over 100. So you say 50 over 100. Fifty over 100 and then? Um, times 60. Times 60? Yes, sir. Over, over one. Over one. Go ahead. Um, it's a 15, it is a one, 15, 200, two times. All right, so that's 15 to 50, then two. Go ahead. And then we said two times sixty. That's right. Make it thirty. Okay. Oh wait, 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 wait. Two divided by sixty. All right, sixty divided by two. Sixty divided by two. All right. All right. Make it thirty. All right, so your answer from your calculation would be 30. All right, so the question is, is there anybody else with an answer to this question? Sir, may I have something, but may I know if you make sense. <laughs> All right, go ahead with what you have, Miss Green. Ms. Green, you want to share what you have? No, sir. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anybody else who have an answer different from what Mr. Giovanni has? And um, anybody is in agreement with Mr. Giovanni's answer? Let me see your hand. Sir, I got 30%, but I worked it differently. All right, so you got the same answer, but you took a different approach. Anybody else? All right. Now, one, one of the key things about math is first to interpret your question, especially when you have worded questions. Worded question, you have to be careful in your interpretations. After reading, Sir, I got 20. Are you going to miss with some? Yes, sir. Do you want to walk us through your solution? No, sir. Why, you're not confident? Not at all, sir. Okay. All right. And, and is there anybody else who wants to share anything? No? All right. Nobody seems to be very confident about this one. All right, so let me walk it through what's supposed to happen in this question. So first we need to interpret the question in the correct way. So it says the number of cars in a car park increased from 50 to 60. Find the percentage increase. Now, first and foremost, we want to calculate 
the increase. What is the increase? Ten, sir. So the increase. The increase would be, it was 50, and now it increased to 60. So the increase would actually be 60 minus 50, which is equal to, to 10. So the increase is 10. Now what the question wants is what? Find the percentage increase. So what they're saying, what percentage is the increase of what it was? You follow what I'm saying, students? So in order to find the increase as a percentage of 50, remember I said that if you're finding one number as a percentage of the other, then you have to write that number as a fraction of the other. So the percentage increase, you would write the increase as a fraction of what it was. And then now you convert that into percentage. And if this is a fraction and you convert it into percentage, it just stands by 100. And we put the percentage symbol to remind us that our answer must take percentage sign. So we can put this over one, then we can calculate. So here we have now 50 in the denominator can cancel with 100 in the numerator. 15 to itself goes one, 15 to 100 goes two. And now, we can multiply what remains in the numerator. So we have two times 10 give you 20. In the denominator, what remains would be one times one give you one. And so this is the same as 20. And now remember, our answer must be in percentage. And so that's the answer. Ms. Raysom, was that a reasoning? Yes, sir. But you weren't sure. No, sir. Is it is it clearer to you now why? Yes, sir. The exact step was done, but I just wasn't sure, sir. Right. Um. Anybody else got that answer? And anybody else use that reasoning? All right, so everybody is now everybody is now clear on how to do a question like this. Let me see your hands. Okay. All right, guys. So you first you find the increase because you want to know what the increase was. And then now the percentage increase is the increase over the original times 100. And so that's how we get the answer. All right. All right. So it so happened that we're going to stop here because it's now 8 o'clock. All right. Now, guys, I, I, um, I'm sure there are some worksheets following up on percentage on the website.